Jeopardy! Here are today's contestants. A YouTuber from Jacksonville, Florida, Pickles. A poker player from Altamonte Springs, Boa. And a chef from Albany, Georgia, Raging. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy! Of course, when our contestants uncover a daily double, please applaud for them. When they get that daily double correct, please applaud for them. Otherwise, please stay quiet so our contestants will have a chance to win. But if they miss, if all three of them miss the questions, then I'm going to throw it to the audience here. I have a few pop print stickers, some candy, a Mountain Dew if anyone wants that. <laughs> In between Jeopardy and Double Jeopardy, I have some much nicer audience prizes as well, so be on the lookout for those. Raging, Bo, Pickles, it's good to have you. Here we go, into the Jeopardy round. Eventually. <laughs> ah, good. Here are today's categories. Conventions, Disney, video games, just 90s things, memes, name that furry. Pickles, you are in the number one spot on the table there. Are you ready to go? Uh, well, they still haven't populated over here, but uh, let's go with video games for 200. Now a staple of the franchise, it first appeared in 1985 in this game. Listen. I suppose I'm going to have to act out all the audio from this here, so here we go. Do 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 Bo. What is Super Mario Brothers? Yes, that's correct. Good for 200. Let's continue in video games four, please. Rolling around at the speed of sound, he first appeared on the Sega Genesis in 1991. Raging. Uh, who is Sonic the Hedgehog? You're correct, you did. Um, just 90s things. What's your what blue value? Uh, 200. 200. The first episode of this animated series was broadcast in the U.S. on September 8th, 1998, bringing us those famous words, I want to be the very best. What is Pokemon? Yes, you're correct. Back to video games for six, please. <laughs> Daily Double. <laughs> now, let's see. What is your score there? I... Zero. <laughs> ben, have you not been adding their scores? <laughs> okay, well, what you have is currently, you currently have $200. You can, 400, 600, excuse me. So you have 600, but you can risk four. I think I got two, I got two 200s. <laughs> If you can't tell, this is my first year hosting a panel. <laughs> We're working through all the kinks. You have $400. You can risk up to the maximum $1,000 on the board. What would you like to do? We're going as true as we can go. Let's make it 1000 1000 please. Released in 1998, Valve gave us this game featuring a silent man a crowbar, and a teleportation experiment gone wrong. We're still waiting for the third installment. What is Half-Life? You are correct, 14. Yeah. Let's keep going, make it 800 video games, please. Video games for 800. This popular city building series by Maxis was first released in 1989 and later picked up a reboot in 2013. Foe. What is SimCity? Yes, you're good. And finish the category. Although we know it as the Nintendo Entertainment System, in Japan, it was known as this, Reiji. What is the Famicom? Yes, you're correct. You pick. Uh, 50 for, for 200? He first appeared in the 1928 film Steamboat Willie. Pickles. Who is Mickey Mouse? Yes, you're correct. Yeah. Uh, we'll do memes for 200. 
Memes for 200. Poor Skyrim guard. He used to be an adventurer until he took one of these in the knee. What is an arrow? An arrow in the knee. Yes, you're correct. Memes for four, please. Seen here is this cat, who sadly passed in May 2019. Who is Grumpy Cat? You're correct. Oh, Disney for 400. In 1995, this Disney-owned studio released Toy Story, the first feature-length computer-generated film. Reggie. What is Pixar? Yes, you're correct. Uh, Disney for 600? This 2016 Disney buddy cop film is set in a city where anyone can be anything. Reggie. What is Zootopia? You're correct. Uh, Disney for 800? Disney opened this theme park in 1965, conveniently in Bay Lake, Florida. Reggie. What is the Magic Kingdom? No. Anyone else? All right, audience, do you have any idea? How about... How about you there, one of my tryout contestants? What is Walt Disney World? Walt Disney World, that's what we were going for. Come on up here, grab yourself a paw print sticker or some candy. Or you can have that Mountain Dew if you like. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> Those scores are, I don't think. Yeah, your, your scores are like really, really high. <laughs> and the board is kind of a mess. Yeah, the, board, the board's we are missing a few of those. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if, boy, I wish I was the first time. Let's see. Uh, All right, so the scores currently stand at Foe has 14. Lights. Well, well, well. Where'd the why the lights come on? Foe currently has fourteen plus eighteen for plus eight. I'm no good at quick math. <laughs> twenty-four, twenty-two, twenty-two thousand, twenty-two hundred, <laughs> twenty-two hundred, twenty. It's twenty-four. Pickles currently has 200. Reggie has eight. 14, 14 minus eight. 600. 600, you're at 600. So that's the scores right now. 24 for Foe, 600 for Reggie, and 200 for Pickles. Are we all good and ready to go now back there? <laughs> Man, I tell you, you are, you are all an awesome audience. Tell you what, while we're working on fixing up the scores, let's talk with our contestants a little bit. Let's take a little bit of a break. How about that? <laughs> so. Let's talk a little bit right here with my guy, Reggie, right here. Now, it says that you are a chef, but what I really want to talk to you about is that you said that you were a polyglot and you speak six different languages. Would you care to share what languages that you speak? Um, currently, like I said, only have six, but, you know, learning every day, but they are all English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, German, and Japanese. Very good, very good. Always, always. <laughs> pinball, huh? You really like pinball, huh? Tell me about it. Well, uh, when I, about a year and a half ago, I was just randomly talking to friends online, and one of them mentioned that they were on a pinball league, and I went, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me, that's a thing. And I got a little bit too addicted, and I'm trying to buy my first machine next, within a year or two here. Awesome. Now, do you, you have seen the Family Guy pinball table up in the lounge, right? I've played it, and I'm sorry to say that it's in, like, the worst condition. I've yes, seen. unfortunately it is. Unfortunately it is. Maybe they'll get it fixed one day. We'll see. Don't bet on it. <laughs> 
Pickles, Pickles, Pickles. What an interesting name you have there. You are a YouTuber. So what kind of content do you produce? Uh, I actually only posted one video. I didn't really think when I wrote that. <laughs> so what, what you're saying is you're an aspiring, an aspiring YouTuber. YouTuber. There you go, there, there you go. See, that's, that's part of the trick is if you don't think you're doing something good, you have to make it sound good. So you're, you're, not, you're not just a guy with one YouTube video. You are an aspiring YouTube, you're an aspiring YouTuber. Yes. All right. Tell everyone to subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell icon. What's your name? <laughs> Mr. Pickle Man. Make sure to buy uh, the, that uh, VPN that everyone is uh, watching. <laughs> Sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> Okay, well let's get back into this game. Reggie, you did give us the last correct answer, so you get to pick. Uh, Disney for a thousand. For a thousand. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit was first introduced in 1927, taken by Universal in 1928, then returned to prominence again in this 2010 Disney video game. Oh, uh, what is... No, too much time. Well, what is Epic Mickey? Epic Mickey is correct. What do we have? What do we have left in memes? Because I can't see a ding dang thing. Memes. We have memes for six, eight, and one thousand. Memes for six, then, please. For six hundred. I don't know if the audio is going to work on this one. Released in 1987 on the album "Whenever You Need Someone," it's the British pop hit heard here. What is new? All right, Pickles. What is never going to give you up? You are correct. Uh, next one in memes. Seen here is Doge, this breed of Japanese dog. Such pretty. Wow. Reiji? What is the Shiba Inu? You are correct. Such terpy. <laughs> Um, just 90 things. Is that? I can't, I can't tell. We, we, we did one of the 90s things one. We did the 200 one. I hear you. We can. In just 90s things, we have four, six, eight, and a thousand. Yay! Just 90 things for 400, please. Check out this phone, the perfect tool for hammering nails and breaking down doors and playing snake. Reggie? Uh, too much time. Yeah, too much time. Anyone else? There's no picture for it. No picture of it. Was, would the audience like to take a crack at it? How about you back there with the red and black long sleeves, that glove? Yes, you. We'll accept that, yes. Come on up here, get yourself a paw print or some candy or Mountain Dew. Come on up. All right, Reggie. Just for, what was the hell? Just ninety six for nine. Oh, no, I'm sorry, six hundred. Six hundred. Well, one second. Heard here is the startup sound for this video game console, first launched in Japan in 1994. Listen. Show. <laughs> Pickles. What is the Sony PlayStation? You are correct. Let's finish out 90s things. <laughs> oh, there's, there's two more clues oh, left in okay. 90s things. Then the next one in 90s things. Oh, cool. You've got mail. This internet service provider rose to its greatest height in the 90s. I hope you don't mind the free CDs. Pickles. What is America Online? You're correct. Now the last one in 90s. All right. <laughs> Professor Utonium accidentally created these girls when he mixed together sugar, spice, <laughs> everything nice, and a little bit of chemical X. Pickles? Who are the Powerpuff Girls? You are correct. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do conventions for 200. Conventions for 200. Its tagline is Florida Sun, Furry Fun. Foe? <laughs> what is Megaplex? <laughs> I would hope you would get that. <laughs> it was a lucky guess. Uh, conventions for four. Conventions for four. 
celebrating all things fuzzy and furry, it's hosted annually in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ragey? What is Amphicon? You are correct. Conventions for 600. For 600. It's the largest My Little Pony convention. Ragey? What is BronyCon? You are correct. Conventions for 800. This convention describes itself as the largest anime and manga convention in North America. Reiji? What is DragonCon? I'm sorry? What is DragonCon? No. Anyone else? Pickles? What is MegaCon? N no. Fo? Let's see. You there, second row, right on the edge there. What do you think it is? Comic -Con. Not Comic Con. <laughs> Who do I want now? How about yes? How about you that the guy next to you is pointing at? <laughs> Not Otacon. All right, you and that face mask with that teal LED badge. You are correct. Come on up and get you something. What? What do we have left? I have no idea. Uh, All right. Oh, yeah, name it. Our last correct response came from Reiji, so you get to pick where we go next. Uh, let's finish out conventions then. Finish out conventions. In 2018, it boasted 10,989 attendees, making it the world's largest furry convention. Foe. What is Midwest Fur Fest? You are correct. I really could have swore we did video games for four. Did we actually skip that? I, I was pretty sure we did that. We have memes for a thousand and all of Name That Furry left. Uh, memes for a thousand, please. For a thousand. Seen here is this now deceased member of Queen used to indicate that an amazing feat has been accomplished. Pickles? Who is Freddie Mercury? You are correct. Name that furry is our last category this round. All right, let's start at 200. Seen here is this fighting game champion, a four-time <laughs> Evo winner. Fo? Who is Sonic Fox? You are correct. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy and go name that furry for 1,000. For 1,000. He was diagnosed with ALS in March 2018 and passed away on April 5th, 2019. Fo? Who is Dog Bomb? You are correct. 800, please. For 800. This father's brother's full name is Kagamushi Goro, or in English, Samurai Cockroach. Pickles? Who is Uncle Kage? You're correct. Oh, man. Uh, isn't there, there's only like one left, right? One, six. Okay, 400. Seen here is this dragon, the founder of Fur Affinity. Reiji? Oh, God. Driffer? Who is Driffer? No. Pickles? Who is Fender? No. Why is this stoked? Who is Dragoneer? You are correct. <laughs> and now for the final clue, name that furry for 800. On the Fun Day Paw Pet Show, he's most known for puppeteering the sheepdog Ezra. <laughs> Who knows it? Okay, you on the front in the blue, or is that purple shirt? Blue. blue. What is it? No. Yes, I'll have you waving your hand right on the edge there. Yes, you're correct. Come on up. All right, that finishes up the Jeopardy round. We're going to take a quick break to tally up scores. Players, if you want to get some water, if any of our audience members want to get some water, have at it. We'll be right back after this. Oh, thank God. All these correct, all these correct answers, and then I get to the high ones, and bam. <laughs> I get it right blank, and I get, get 
I, I'm gonna get zapped. I, I, Let's, I think let's go with this audience question. Let me step down away from the bright lights. Well, it'll work pretty much the same as when our contestants miss. If you know it, raise your hand and then come on up to the stage and I will give you a prize when we get done with our two audience questions. The category is spelling B. The trick here is the correct response must be spelled. Here is the clue. In Minecraft, this kind of tree has a trunk that's mostly white with black spots. I saw this fursuiter over here first. What do you think it is? What is Birch, B-I-R-C-H? Correct, head on up to the stage. The next, just head on, just head up right there and I'll get you a prize. The next clue here is American buildings. Fittingly, this Department of Defense headquarters has five sides. Mm, who should I go for? I'm gonna go for this guy over here in the tank top, the gray tank top. You are correct, it is the Pentagon. Come on up. All right, so you got our first one. Would you like a fox or a snow leopard? 
want the snow leopard. Your fish. Can I touch the fishy? Touch the fishy? Good fishy. <laughs> you have won a fox plushie. Let's hear it for our audience contestants. Yeah. How's the scoring look over there, Ben? You ready to go? I think he's still working. How about we do our other two audience prizes here? Give us a little bit of time to figure out the last of these scores here. Now, unfortunately, this one is an audience question, so you don't get to participate. But Reiji, if you, if you are a chef who specializes in Japanese food, I'm going to be pretty disappointed if you don't get this one. The clue is, well, the category, I'm sure you've already figured it out, is Japanese food. Here's the clue. Traditionally, it's a single portion box meal with rice, fish, and some vegetables. I want the squeaker up here. What do you think it is? What is a bento box? Come on up. Is anybody here good at poetry? Because the next audio, uh, the next clue is poems. The musical Cats was adopted, or adapted rather, from this T.S. Eliot collection of poetry. Yeah, I'm only seeing this one hand over here. What do you think it is? Old? Close enough, come on up and get your prize. Fox, one fox for you. The, uh, the Fun Day Pop It Show question, nobody got it. It was an audience prize. All right. AV team, could I get you to dim the lights once more? I think we are now ready to move into Double Jeopardy. Now, let me see over here who has the lowest score. Reiji, it looks like you have the lowest score, so as soon as I get back over here to this little table, as soon as I get back over here, it is your turn. So we have this round, animals by scientific name. We'll give you a scientific name of an animal. You tell us the common name. Everyone loves Lego. Let's play British Telly. Villains, and finally, <laughs> furries, we break everything. Low budget Fonzie is a good friend I met at the Who's Lion panels from years past, and this year I asked him to help us out with Furry Jeopardy. He has recorded himself quoting famous movie lines, and your job is going to be to tell us what character in the movie said that line. So, Reggie, you are in last place. You get to pick first from any one of those categories. Animals by scientific name for 400. Felis catus, meow, ragey. Yep, you're correct. Hang on a second. AV team, have you brought up the contestant microphones? They're sounding pretty quiet. S, B, pickles, otter. S. All right, all right, I'm sorry about that, ragey. Animal scientific names. 800? 800. Volps, volps, foe. What is a fox? You are correct. 
Let's continue down the category for 12, please. Canis lupus wolf. Oh, I'm sorry, I just gave that out. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it's our first year. It's our first year. We're working out the kinks. What is a wolf? <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> is, is that the honey badger? <laughs> Foe got the uh, fox question, player two. Well, since I screwed that up, uh, well, Foe, you, you're still in control of the board here. Uh, we'll go to 1600 in animal name, scientific. Animals by scientific for 16. I, Loris Fulgens. This one's a bit tricky. Does anybody want to take a stab at it? I see one hand over here. What do you think it is? Say it a little bit louder. No, it's not a bat. I see a couple people over there. What do you think it is? White shirt. Not a falcon. Anyone else? Waving, waving hands right over there. <laughs> mud! Mud! No. No, the correct answer is actually a red panda. Oh. Red panda. Fo? Let's finish category for 2000, please. Carassius aratus. Reggie? What is the cassowary? No. Anyone else? I see it. What do you think it is? Not a vulture. Anyone else? How about you right there in the second row? Not a rat. Yeah, up in the front row right over here. Not a polar bear. Last one, orange guy way in the back there. No, it's not a mallard duck, although this mallard does look pretty nice, doesn't it? No, the correct response is a goldfish. Goldfish. Oh, gosh, dang it. But that's okay, that's okay. Reggie, where would you like to go? We finished up animals by scientific name. Oh, oh wait, dude. Oh, I, we finished it up? Oh, I'm sorry, folks. Let's play for 400, please. Let's play for 400. In England, it's called knots and crosses, while in America, we call it by this alliterative three-word name, Fo. What is tic-tac-toe? You are correct. Let's play for eight, please. Its slogan is the fast-dealing property trading game, Fo. What is monopoly? Correct. For 12, please. A large mat with four rows of colored circles must be this game of physical skill. Fo? What is Twister? You're correct again. Let's play for 16. Their website says that it's a party game for horrible people, as despicable and awkward as you and your friends. Pickles? What is Cards Against Humanity? You're correct. Let's finish it out. First introduced in 1974 by Gary Gaiax and <laughs> Dave Arneson, this game series has been a staple among tabletop role-playing game fans. Fo? What is Dungeons and Dragons? You are correct. Let's go to British Telly for four, please. Starring Benedict Cumberbatch, it's a modern take on Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's character. Reggie? What is Sherlock Holmes? You're correct. British Telly no, for No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, you gave us too much information on that one. Too much information. Pickles? What is Sherlock? It's just Sherlock. That's the name of the series. If I went on a technicality. <laughs> uh, let's do whose line is it anyway for four. Whose line for four? Fo? Who is an ego Montoya? Correct. Um, back to British Telly for eight, please. Telly for eight. This drama series begins in the 1910s, following the lives of the Crawley family and their servants. Pickles? What is Downton Abbey? You're correct. 
Let's go back to whose line for four. Whose line for four? Mm -hmm. How about eight? eight? Whose line for eight? Excuse me. Ragey. What is Ferris Bueller? No. <laughs> Pickles. Who is Cerberus Snape? There you go. Uh, I like that guess, but I didn't. <laughs> it's dying. Everyone loves Lego for four. For four. This kit of a beloved Star Wars ship weighs in at a staggering 7,541 bricks, making it the largest Lego set currently in production. What is the Millennium Falcon? You're correct, Ragey. Mm. Villains for 400. Villains for 400. He uttered the famous line, no, I am your father. Ragey. Who is Darth Vader? You're correct. Yeah. Villains for 800. His catchphrase, Avada Kedavra. Pickles. Uh, catchphrase. Uh, who is uh, Lord Voldemort? You're correct. Uh, villains for 12. For 12, they're one of the doctor's oldest enemies, equipped with a death ray cannon and intent on destroying everything not like them. Pickles? Who are the Daleks? You're correct. Let's take this over to British Telly for 1,200. For 12, for 12 you said? Yes. For 12. <laughs> <laughs> Following their departure from Top Gear, the trio seen here moved to Amazon to host the grand tour. Foe? For Hammond, Clarkson, and May. You are correct. And that's all the British telly I know. So villains for 16. For which one for 16? Villains and, oh crap. Ah, uh, yes, that one. Villains uh. 16. Seen here are Nightmare Moon and Discord, two former villains from this animated TV series. Reiji? What is My Little Pony? More specific? My Little, what is My Little Pony? Friendship is Magic. There you go. Villains for 2,000. Two Villains for 2,000. Answer there, the Daily Double. <laughs> daily Double number one. Now let's see what scores we have over there. What scores do we have over there for you, Reiji? You have 2,200. You can risk any or all of that. What would you like to do? Go big or go home, all of it. True Daily Double. If you are correct, you will have $4,400. Here is the clue. He threatened to met all, melt all of the tunes in Who Framed Roger Rabbit with a special concoction called The Dip. <laughs> Hurry. Who is the madman? No, I'm afraid that's not correct. Audience, does anybody know? How about you right there, third seat on the front? Judge Doom, yes. He was played by Chris Malloy, that was like, crap. <laughs> well, unfortunately, lost everything on that one, but you still retain control of the board. I will mention we only have a few minutes left, so I think we only have time for a couple more clues before we move into Final Jeopardy. So I hope you can pick up some money there. Uh, everyone loves Lego 2000. For 2000, if you had your head in the clouds, you might come back with one of these robotics kits by Lego. Reiji? What is a Technic? No. Pickles? What is a mind storm? Yes, you're correct. Uh, let's do British Telly for 2000. For 2000. This British comedy show starring John Cleese, Eric Idle, Michael Palin, and others was truly something completely different. Reggie? What is Monty Python? Yes, you're correct. <laughs> British Telly for 1600. For 16. It's what BBC stands for, Reggie. What is the British Broadcasting Company? No. Oh. Anyone else? What word did Reggie miss? How about you with the glowy badge third seat right there? Channel? No. Red shirt right next to him. Yes, you. Yes. 
What's that? Not commission. Yellow shirt right over there. Corporation. There you go. Oh. I think we have time for two more clues there. So, last correct response was from Rachie. What do you want? Oh, I'm um, dog. Let's see, the next one in whose line is it anyway? Whose line for 12? I know who you are, Peter Quill, and I'm not some starry-eyed wait here to succumb to your, your pelvic sorcery. <laughs> Reggie? Who is Rowan? No. <laughs> How about you there holding your fursuit head? Not Drax. Not Drax. Right here in the front. Gamora, come on. All right, and that is all the time we have for Double Jeopardy, unfortunately. So let's take a look at the scores. If you would go ahead and switch over to Final Jeopardy here. So we have Pickles, and it looks like Foe is in the lead with 15-2. Pickles with 9,600. Unfortunately, Reggie, you are in the red, and you will not be around to play for Final Jeopardy. But thank you very much. There, I do have prizes. I do, even though you lost, I do have some prizes for you, so stick around. Just come on off to the side here. All right, so here, players, is the final Jeopardy category for you today. Egyptian mythology. We're gonna take a quick break, let our players make their wagers, and we'll be right back with the clue. Ha, <laughs> made their wagers, it's now time for Final Jeopardy. 
Here is the clue for you players. Please remember to form the... Uh, please remember to form your responses in the form of a question. Go ahead and hit show question now. She was the daughter of the sun god Ra, and her name means she of the ointment jar. 30 seconds, players. Good luck. Pickles, we will start with you. You are in second place in 9600. Let's take a look and see what you wrote down. The response was, who is Osiris? I had a blast. Unfortunately, that is incorrect and you'll lose something. And he's written down 9600, so unfortunately, unfortunately, he has lost everything. But you did, play, you did play a really good game and I thank you for having you on here. Let's now take a look at Foe's response, who is Sobek, which is also incorrect. So that means if an audience member knows it, it's another chance for a small prize. Yellow guy in the front there. Who is ISIS? No, not ISIS. Oh no! How about you over there, Kai? Not her. Green shirt right there with a the beard. No, I'm afraid not. The correct response was Bastet. Who is Bastet? Cat person, by the way. Cat god. Hmm. So unfortunately, you will also be losing something, but it doesn't matter. He loses 4,001, but he is in first place, so congratulations. Bo, oh, you are our Jeopardy champion. Come on over here, all three of you. Come on up here, Rachie, and let me give you your prizes. For our first place winner here, I give you a fox plushie. I give you one of these really cool keychain flashlights. Like, it's, it's seriously bright, so it's, I, act, I actually bought one for myself. They're really cool. You have a standard brightness setting. And then you have an eye blind, blindingly bright setting. So like the lights. Yes. <laughs> Only it fits in your pocket, not on the, on the racking up there. Oh, exactly. USB rechargeable too. Much more power efficient than these big old things. And I also give you a copy of Wolf Children. A fantastic, fantastic anime. If you have not seen it yet, go see it. Pickles, since you were leading going into, I will give you the second place prize, a fox and a little flashlight. You are in third place, Reiji. You just get a fox. All three of you can also get some candy, some paw print stickers. Let's hear it one more time for our players. This has been Blue Snow Kitty with Furry Jeopardy, and I will see you all next year. Thank you.